Hey guys, Cody with Angler's Covey Fly Shop uh, here with some more tips and tricks and let's talk about floatants here for a little while because it can get a little confusing. We get asked a lot in the shop, um, you know, which floatant should I use? There's so many kinds and there is, it can be a little daunting. So um, basic floatant would be like a gel floatant, like your Aquel. Um, these are great if you have a brand new fly that is dry, it's not wet already. You just work a little bit of this gel into the fly, work it into the hackle fibers, the body. Um, and what this does is it helps keep that fly from absorbing water and then sinking. So simple, easy to use. Aquel, good example of that. They make one called Royal Gel, which is pretty much the same thing, except this, they put a little iridescent flash into this stuff. So if you want a little extra sparkle, you can go with the Royal. Um, kind of 180 from a, uh, a floatant actually loon makes a sink it. So if you have nymphs or something you want to really break the surface and sink better, you could buy a sink it actually. Same thing, it's a gel format. So um, then you got your stuff like your powders and your desiccates and stuff. So um, powders, desiccants, so you can probably hear that. There's little beads in here. So the idea here is you drop your fly in here right on the leader, cap it off, give it a shake. Um, these beads are little desiccant beads. It helps dry out your fly. Um, so a tip with that is try and get the dry or the fly as dry as possible first. So blot it in your shirt. Do some false cast. Blow on it. Get the excess moisture out, and then put it in here. And this will kind of give it that final dry. Um, so stuff like Loon's Easy Dry. It's just a desiccant. It just helps dry the fly out. Blue Ribbon, for example, by Loon, is just a powder. Um, it's the floatant itself. So after drying a fly really good, you could treat it with a powder, which again will help keep that fly from absorbing water, help keeping it float nice and high and dry. Um, I'm sure you've been on the river, and some of these trout, as they're, they're finicky, and a fly that's sitting down in the water, opposed to sitting nice and high on the water, can make the difference some days. So. It's good to have your uh, powders and your gels all handy and sometimes you have to really baby your flies keeping them floating really good so um, so yeah so you got your desiccants your um, floating powders and then some products kind of combine these two into one um, so like uh, Shimazaki dry shake it's got the desiccant beads and the powder in it already um, MFC's dry shake same thing it's got both in there um, which is kind of nice so um, just be careful when you pull these out, do it real slow, maybe shake it a little bit. You don't want to pull half the powder out um, as you're using this stuff on the river. And don't do what I've done before and drop this in the water open. You ruin the whole bottle in one shot. Um, I've done that, it's frustrating. But um, they make, we, we have little caddies that you can put them in and hang them off your um, slings and vests and it definitely helps with dropping this stuff in the river. Um, other options you can do is you can always pre-treat flies the night before, the day before. So stuff like Flyagra, which are these liquids. Um, Loon makes one called Hydro Stop, and basically you're you know submersing your fly in this and letting it dry. And basically it's putting almost like a clear coat on your fly. Um, it gets into the hackle, it gets into the dubbing and all the body material, and it's kind of waterproofing the fly, um, kind of a, as a more permanent treatment to help keep that fly from absorbing water and sinking. So a little more time consuming to do this treatment because you want to do it the day before, the night before. You might want to do it to a dozen flies at a time or something. Um, but pre-treating can be nice because then those flies can be pretty bomb proof, pretty waterproof. Um, and they float like a cork for the most part until they've been thrashed by a few fish. So um, so yeah, there's a little primer on some floatants. I know it, is, it can be daunting. There's a million to choose from, but they all have their unique uh, pros and cons. I'm uh, mostly pros to all of them, but um, come in the shop. Well, we're happy to show them all to you um, and chat about them more in detail. So if you have any more questions about us, um, reply to this Facebook post and uh, we'll, we'll answer you. Otherwise, we'll see you guys on the river. Tight lines.